Okay, so today we are going to be doing advanced muzzle flashes. So to start with, we're going to grab our footage and we're going to throw it right in. And this is recorded on my new camera, the um, Sony A6000. So um, it looks a lot better than it did before and you can see it's just so much better and I love it. So um, with the camera loving, camera loving out the way we're going to start on this tutorial so you can see action we just have a action gunfire not a great recoil but um you know whatever so what i'm going to do is i'm going to scroll through the frames and find the frame just before the fire so i'm saying that one here okay and what i'm going to do is since my gun um doesn't have a built-in recoil and um, they're like 60 quid and you have to fill them up with a CO2 canister and when you pull the trigger they recoil but no bullet comes out so um, oops that's um, a lot easier so if you do have one then you can skip this step but if you don't and you're like me then um, there is an easy way around this to trick your viewer into making them think it's a real gun so what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate my footage at this point and I'm going to just um, make it so it lasts one frame uh, right here, okay? And now I'm going to grab my freehand mask tool and I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to try and mask out a sort of shape of the barrel. And... Um, so like that, and then we're going to grab the um, tool here, and we're going to grab it, and we're going to drag it back. And you might be thinking, but that looks awful. Um, so now we're going to fix it. So we're going to go into our mask, and to start with, we're just going to zoom in, and we're going to lower the expansion just a tiny bit. Okay, I didn't actually do any there. Let's try 0.1. Okay, that looks good. And then we're gonna feather it like that. So we're already adding a bit of blur to it and it's the blur in this effect that completely solves it. So if we get a directional blur and throw that onto the layer um, and we turn up the blur length, you can see it's blurring it like that. And then if we just rotate this, it's actually just set it to 90 degrees you can see it sort of looks like it's blurred so I'm going to lower the amount of blur just so it's still a bit clear like that, so I've got 43 there and now if we play back the footage Action. it looks like it flies back if we just load it up there no, let's Action. it sort of Action. looks like it flies back but I'm actually thinking this is in the wrong place because um, oh god what have I done now uh, I'm in here I actually think this is in the wrong place because the gun seems to fly up later so I'm actually going to just move it along in the timeline and put it there like that now let's give that a go action yeah that looks much action better. Okay, so now we've got the barrel, we're going to actually add in the uh, muzzle flash. So in my bit here, I've picked out a muzzle flash, and I'm just going to throw that in. This is just part of stock footage that you can find. Action Essentials is good, so I'll leave a link to that in the description. So it's Action VFX, and they also do some free things, just not muzzle flashes. So um, we got our muzzle flash in, and um, we're going to position it with our recoil and we're just going to throw it there and um, that looks quite good okay so now that we've got that we have it so that it flies back and shoots action like that. action that looks really good and the reason why the um thing works is because um it plays out really quickly anyway so the audience is tricked into making into making it look like it's actually moving back, even though it isn't, which is sort of not a very good explanation. But basically, 
because of how fast the frame rate is, it looks like it's flying back. Like that. And so since it's flying back, that also means that a bullet needs to come out. So I've got um, some bullet stock footage here. And I have a problem with it because when I screen it... Oh, it worked. Last look, you can see here it doesn't work, but on a dark area it does work really well. So one way to combat this is to go into your footage and uh, just lower the um, brightness, which I actually will do a little bit of. Brightness and contrast, and I'm just going to throw that onto there. I'm just going to lower the brightness a tiny bit just to help with that and we're going to duplicate this onto this footage so it still looks uh, like it's part of the same footage and now the bullet looks a bit better but it's still quite transparent so we're going to turn off the screen mode and we're going to add a curves adjustment and what we want to do here is we want to amp up the colour as much as we can so we're going to darken it really pump up the red and uh, how do we get an orangey? That looks okay. And we're going to pull the blue down a lot. And then the alpha can just stay, do whatever he does. And then instead of screening it, because that would do it first, we're going to unmolt, which is um, an effect preset which takes away the black. And now you can see it looks a bit green. Uh, so we're going to pull down our greens a bit and get a bit more of a brass kind of look. That looks quite good. So now Action. we have bullet spinning and it's not as transparent. I mean it doesn't look great, but you can also you can fine tweak this a bit more and make it look a bit better. Anyway, I'm gonna drag that to here and we're gonna position it there. Now first off it's way too big, so we're gonna shrink it to a reasonable bullet size. I think that looks okay. And um, it's just spinning, doing nothing at the moment. So what we're going to do is going to go into transform, going to um, keyframe position, and we're going to move uh, just random amount of frames forwards and move it out of frame. Now we really want to get the effect of the bullet flying up, so we can use the Bezier curve just to really curve its flight path. Sorry about that. So now it's got really like curvy worthy sort of thing. That's even Action. Worse. Okay, so that actually looks quite good and I'm actually quite happy with that speed. But what I am gonna do is um, speed up the spinning so it spins even faster. So I'm just gonna go into time stretch and turn it up to 50. Action. And that Action. looks quite good, but in reality the muzzle flash would light up the scene and especially since we've darkened it to get this bullet to look a bit better, it would do that even more. So um, I'm thinking the muzzle flash, let's actually make this a bit bigger so it looks a bit more cinematic, um, would actually um, brighten up this hand. I'm not going to do the gun because it's um, quite dark, so um, a good way to do this is to create a new adjustment layer, drag that to the top, and then get the mask tool and just um, draw, oh god I've done this wrong, draw the kind of shape for where the light might ref reflect off, so I'm thinking here, a bit like that kind of a shape, and uh, I'm gonna click lighten and then I'm just going to add curves and then we'll just pump this up a bit okay so now it looks a bit brighter but um, obviously um, it's a bit you know hard edges so we're going to go into our mask feather it out of it and now it really looks like it's lit up his hand I'm actually going to take the feather down a bit make it a bit harsher, move it to the keyframe there and then what we're going to do is we're going to make it last a few frames and we're going to go into transform opacity one two let's make it last two frames and then just turn off the opacity and that might not look too great but let's Action. see 
That does look a lot better. And this one in the middle, we're just gonna. Oh god, don't wanna do that. Oh god. Mucking everything up. Right, we'll just keyframe the position. So it um, follows our actor's hands. And I'm actually gonna grab these and move them out a bit further just to have even more light. Let it be bright. Action. Okay, so um, Action. that's a good advanced Action. muzzle flash with everything in it. And um, another thing you might want to do is add a bit of smoke. Now, I don't have any smoke assets at the moment, so I'm just going to use my muzzle flash, and this is a good trick to do. Cut out the frames with the muzzle flash. And now you have smoke. And we can just position that on the barrel, or where the barrel actually is. And uh, now we have this. Action. And you can see there's a tiny bit of smoke when they shoot, which just, because the bullet casing is really hot, so the idea is it's quite smoky when it leaves. Action. And, um, blam. There you go, you have your advanced uh, muzzle flash because it is good to know how to do it properly because most people they just ignore all of this and all they do is slap a muzzle flash on there and they're like Action. I'm done. And I have done this as well. I did it with Bio, which is the first short film to go up on this channel. And um now that I started using this method, it, it looks so much better and more camera loving. Camera loving! So does the camera. So yeah, um, if you enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button. That's all. Until next time. See you next time. I just said that twice. I really mucked up that outro. Oh well, bye.